Now the 3D keyer makes a map of the distance from the input color from the selected color. Uh, now as an example, you select the color green. Uh, the keyer then creates a map of the distance from green to each pixel's color value. So it takes a, it looks at the color value and it maps the distance how far it is from the color green or whatever color you pick. Uh, where the color values are similar, the map is darker or black. And where the color values are different, like skin tones and stuff, the map is lighter or white. That map is then scaled with the controls inside the 3D keyer to control the density of the map to be used as a mat. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how we can use this as a mat. And it, it's a really, really great, guys. And I'm going to be using this in conjunction with a couple of other keyers from the, physic, from the Fix Evo bundle. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a Fix UV Blur. Now this is just going to help, you know, blur out my edges a little bit. It just, just polishes up the look of the key. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is add the Keyer 3D from the Evo bundle. So now I have my Keyer 3D out from this uh, appended from the UV blur. Now it works just like a regular keyer. I'm going to go in, pick my color swatch, and pick the color. And you can see it gives me a pretty good key. I'm going to go to my alpha channel, and I'm going to work on my mat. So let's go into our controls and use our mat high, our mat low, and our mat gamma to try and adjust the density of this mat. Now, as you can see, it's a really it, it does a really good job. Now, let me go in here and fiddle with the controls a bit. Now, as you can see, I think it's an excellent, excellent keyer. You probably can't tell a whole lot about it over YouTube. But as you can see, this is a depth of field. The guy in front here is blurred out and she's in focus because he's closer to the camera. So this is kind of a 3D key we're having to pull here. Okay, and as you can see, it's give us a pretty good key except for a little bit of, of blue spill. And we'll, we'll take care of all that in a minute. So now we have this key or 3D and we have this mat. We have used our 3 or key to create this, this awesome mat. So now what I'm going to do is going to go to my color tab and I'm going to reorder it. And I'm going to reorder the channels to my alpha channel. A, 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 A. And that's going to make it, even in my color channel, I have my mat. Okay? So now I'm going to add a dilated road to help take care of my edges. I'll make it minus one. And you can see when I do that, that sucks in the edges of the mat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert that mat. I'll go to my color and invert it like so. And now from my UV blur, I'm going to branch off another key, like maybe a key light. Let's branch off a key light. Now we have this key light. I'm going to use this mat that I got from my key or 3D as the garbage mat input to my key light. Now, look at there. Now we have a pretty good key. And if I want to, I can lay this over my background just to get a rough comp. Now we have this comp, and if you wanted to, you could even go in and add a bytes node, and there's all kinds of stuff you can do. But basically what I'm doing here is showing you how great a job the 3D keyer does. We made a, a mat with our 3D keyer, reordered it and made this mat, and used it with in conjunction with our key light node and you can see we get a fairly fairly decent actually better than fairly decent a really good key so now I'm going to go in here to my key light node and just adjust the screen range up a little bit to fill in his jacket there and now as you can see we have a really good key now as you can imagine if I would just used one key there's no way I would have got such good results. No way. Because I can disconnect this from I can disconnect a 3D keyer. And you can look at the key that we have. It's just it's just not that good. I could go in and tweak it and could get fairly decent results. But when I use the 3D keyer from fix.biz, you can see that uh, it made a wonderful mat. 
and it made a wonderful key. So now let's go about this another way. Let's copy and paste our picture, which has our UV blur and everything, and we're back to square one. So now we're going to go about this a little bit more complicated. This is a different way to do your key. There's several ways to do this. I'm just highlighting two. So the first thing we're going to do is branch off the key light from the UV blur. And I'm also going to branch off a key or 3D from the fix bundle. So now we have this key or 3D and key light branched off. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my key light and, and swipe it and try to get a decent key going on. But you can see there's some horrible spill. Then I'm going to go to my key or 3D and I'm going to do the same thing. Now let's go into our alpha channel and do the same thing again. Let's try to work our mat out here. Now let's go to our key light and do the same thing. Looks like we got a pretty good one there. Okay, now I'm going to reorder these like I did last time. Go to color, reorder, and let's reorder them to our alpha channel. I can just copy and paste this reorder node and use it with my key or 3D. Okay, now I've got a reorder node on both of them and I have two mats. Now what we're going to do is we're going to max these mats together, but first I'm going to add a dilated road to this reorder coming off my key or 3D. And we'll have it be minus one. Like so. And I'm going to branch off another dilated road and make it plus one. Now from my key light reorder, I'm going to pin to max from my layer menu. Max. And I'm going to pop in my first dial 80 road. And then from my max node, I'm going to add a min. And I'm going to put in my plus one dial 80 road. Okay, now all I gotta do is add a switch mat to my original image. So let's append a switch mat. Remember the inputs of the switch mat are reversed, so let's switch our inputs. Now as you can see, we have a key. All we need to do is go in and maybe add some spill suppress. And you can go in and adjust some of this out and fiddle with it. I'm not going to fiddle with it too much. And of course, you can lay it over a background. Let's find a background here. There's one. And it looks like we have a pretty decent key in this area too. Let's take out some of this spill here, and there, and there we go. There's two methods of using the wonderful Keyer 3D from the Fix Evo bundle.